Hey, what if you want to add in like a gradient background to your container or your section or something? There's many, many ways to do it. The most standard way of doing it is you would just click over here on your container or section, whatever you're using, go to style and pick your gradient, obviously, right? That's not too difficult, okay, for anyone to do. You can also use other elements as well by dropping them in and shading them so you could have like overlapping gradients. But there is a website that gives you loads of this for free really, really quickly. If I click over here, there's a website called cssshero.org, messenger, mesher. Uh, the link will be in the description. It's not an affiliate link, it's just a link to take you to this page. I can go over here and I can start modifying. So if I decide I want to create some colors, I mean, look, I, I, can, I can first define my background color if I wanted to. Let's go with something like that. So I might decide I don't want this blue color. I'm going to have something a lot more darker. Let's just do it for this one as well. So you can see on the fly now that things are basically changing. Okay, um, let's get rid of this purple one. Let me just scroll down. In fact, we'll have a, a, a magenta color or something going on there. So I can start to create bespoke looks, but I can also get rid of colors as well. So look, let me just close that one out. Let's close that one out as well. Let's close, close, close as well. And I've got to hit a plus sign and we can add in a green effect. So I'm just showing you what you could do. Now each one of these, as you add them, there is a circle. Can you see that? So look, I can now pick it up. Let's drop in a blue one. I'm not going to change the colors and I could now go for something like that. Now then, if I decide to export, let me just copy all of that like that. Let's go back over to our page, click on the container. Let me get rid of everything we had. Let me just clear out the color so it's all transparent at the moment. We go to advanced, we go down to custom CSS and I'm going to type in selector with curly back bracket. And I'm going to paste in that code and then right at the end, do a close curly bracket. OK, it's pretty important you do that. Selector, um, curly bracket, drop the code in and then close it with a curly bracket. We now have that design or color scheme that we had over here. Because sometimes people have said they want a very particular style of coloring or the way it looks. This is quick and easy to do. Go away and play. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I'll keep seeing you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean.